Okay, so Saturday, uh, July 12th, this is race six, my first race of the day, a superbike. Uh, pulling up to the grid, I'm on row two. Um, you got Kristen Guffey in the front on the right, Tony Blackall in the middle, Aaron Reisinger on the front row, and then next to me is Billy Ball in the second row, and I got G behind me. Um, I got Robert, Robert No on a 750, which he's killing it on that thing behind me, uh, Josh Gerardo, um, and I think Brian Lockett. So Friday, um, I think uh, we had some rain again. I don't know why the last few times we've been to Grant and racing, it's rained the day before. So Friday was a good day to lay down some new rubber, get the track, you know, track good again. But so yeah, here's the launch. So I missed the shift out of first. It wouldn't shift right here. So obviously everybody blows by me and then I get it to finally shift into second. Um, so I'm kind of pissed about that. You know, obviously to go fast, you need to get off with the fast guys. So, okay, so we're not doing too bad. Um, we got Black All, Reisinger, Billy Ball in front of us, and then there's Robert Noah on the 750. He came around the outside of everybody into turn one, which is crazy. So now I'm stuck behind the 750. I'm like, shoot, these other guys, <clears throat> these guys are, other guys are going to start pulling away if I don't do something pretty quick. So he's, he's pretty good. I mean, he was running, I think only like a second or two off on that 750. So, and I still wasn't confident even this first race on Saturday, because like I said, Friday, the, the track was pretty slippery, you know, especially in the morning, so it messed, you know, with my confidence, so, um, yeah, so we're going through here, you know, I can see, yeah, those front guys are, they're starting to creep away a little bit, you know, I know I got Black on racing, they're up, up in the front, front, you guys can run 19s, 20s, and then you got Billy Ball and, uh, Guffy, so, yeah, we'll have to wait and do a full lap and wait to the straightaway to do something with Robert here. So, coming on the straightaway, 10B, straightaway, getting full beans, full stick. Got around him. We'll break late into one. So, you know, kind of, I'm already a little deflated just on that, that opening lap. You know, getting stuck and having them guys take off. You know, I've always been a, a big, big promoter of you got to get off with the fast guys. Like, if, you know, if you're trying to get pulled to your personal best, you've got to be on the tail of those faster guys because you're not going to run faster than them, you know, to get, to get back up to them. So if you're not with them off the end of turn one, turn two, like, you're kind of screwed. So I already know, you know, Reisinger and Blackall, I'm not going to catch them guys. I think they dipped into the 19s this weekend, which is what my goal was because I've been living in the 20s the last, you know, year and a half, the last few, few Grattan races. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just, you know, going to put my head down, hit my marks, you know, <clears throat> and see what I can do. <clears throat> so, yeah, the bus stop, and then coming up here, 10A, 10B. 10B. I don't know if there were some new bumps or some bigger bumps, but yeah, once I flick it left here, if I got on the gas too hard, my bike really wanted to like wallow and start almost like, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but it just wasn't giving me the confidence to drive out of that last corner onto the straightaway, which sucks because that's one of the most important corners, you know, or the ones that lead onto the straightaways are the ones, you know, that lead to the finish line. Um, so anyways, yeah, so I mean, these guys aren't getting away. 20 that first flying lap you know which is still I mean at 20.2 or 3 is my PB out there you know so like I said we're running 20s pretty consistently but uh, yeah so I'm going to try to reel these guys back in you jump the jump there you know into 5 6 here into 7 you got to hold it somewhat tight because it's off camber if you go a little wide bowl here, you're dragging your toes of your boots, that's how you know you're you're actually going pretty fast. The sweeper, you gotta stay off that sealer. And then into the bus stop, hard on the brakes, kind of trail the brakes around, get it turned and just get back on the gas. The bus stop, everybody wants to talk about different lines and how to take it. And, you know, like the bus stop's just a throwaway turn, man. Like however you can get in, get the bike turned and get back out, that's the best way to take it. There's no magic line through there. 
anyways, yeah, so back on the straight, we did a low 21. Again, I was getting crappy drive out of 10B, so I had to try to make it up on the brakes. I can see Billy and Guffy, yeah, right, right there in front of me, and they're kind of, they're starting to mess around a little bit, which was good. You know, if they slow up just a hair, um, that'll give me a chance to reel them back in and then try to do something with them. So yeah, three here, this is like an off-camera blind down the left. And the sweeper here. And then full stick, bounce off the rev limiter. And the jump. So yeah, we're, we're getting a little bit closer to these guys, but man, you know, all weekend, the G, John Lick, and then uh, Billy Ball, and they, they were flying. They both dropped another one, two seconds off their PBs ever, so they got into the 20s finally, too. So we got a whole gaggle of us up at Grattan running, you know, I mean, just, just a few seconds off, you know, lap record pace, which is pretty sweet. So. so, yeah, I drew back up to Billy right there at the bus stop. I hit that one perfect. Um, the bus stop, I seem to do it different every time, but that last time was perfect. I drew right back up to Billy give up a little bit of it here because like I said again I was afraid to get on the gas as aggressive as, as everybody else so we're full talk full talk try to be as small as you can break as late as you can so Guffy actually went wide Billy even went a little bit wide he got sucked into so I'm like okay cool so yeah now we're, we're pretty much here we're pretty much with these guys settle down a little bit take a breath you know start coming up with the uh, a little bit of a game plan. So, and coming around here, full stick. Reeled up on Guffy pretty good. I know he's race gratting a few times. It's been a couple, you know, a few years since he's been back here. But uh, so yeah, we've all we've all got some decent time at this track though. Bowl. So like I said, I'm with these guys. You know, I look down and I see in our opening lap where the first flyer was a, was in the 20s, and then this one's a 21 flat. So like, yeah, I mean, Billy's just just killing it, man. I got no idea where G is behind me. Um, he's never ran 20s, so I'm not really thinking he's gonna be right behind me. But uh, yeah, so following these guys again, you know, yeah, they're definitely getting better drive here onto the straightaway but like we say yeah just full stick tuck it as small as you can and then just break you know break as deep as you as you're comfortable so yeah then Billy goes a little bit wide and then driving through one here into two that's where I crashed actually the, the first round here was between one and two so I was a little timid through there as well but like I said, either way, we're on the back of these guys. So, you know, I was trying to figure out how to get a pass on them, on either one of them, but Guffy kept trying to set up a pass on Billy. So he was trying to take the inside on some of these turns, um, which kind of screwed me up because then I couldn't go even more inside to make the pass on Guffy. And then, you know, they were getting such good drives out of 10B onto the straightaway. So, yeah, just... Just staying with them, just you know, in case something happens, you know, I can I can be there to take advantage. But yeah, even down into the bus stop, you know, the, the last couple laps, even this one, you can see Guffy goes kind of on the inside, but doesn't doesn't quite have it. So we got the run up here. So I'm starting to get a little frustrated. I think I was. Started, you know, almost mental. I was just was trying to figure out how to pass them, how to get drive out of 10B. You know, was getting, uh, getting a little pissed off in my head. And then, yeah, G comes by. So I was like, oh, shit. Awesome. Okay. G was still in the mix. So, yeah, coming around here. See, I didn't realize I was actually fading off that that much. Usually as the race goes on, I actually get, get quicker. Um, so yeah, G came by. I thought we were still in the 20s for a second, you know, 21 flat, low 21s, high 20s. And then, yeah, so. So yeah, not bad. I mean, all in all, it was a, it was, it was a good race to get my confidence back up with with the track.
back in the level of grip and get back into the 20s. Um, so at least I'm kind of back to my PB. But yeah, it's a little frustrating just not getting off the start with being able to go with Black Owen Reisinger. But yeah, Billy and, uh, and G-Man, that's a hell of a, hell of a good job. So I'll let you guys watch the finish of the race.